2019 Mercedes AMG Project 1 Full details on the F1 engine hypercar. The Mercedes AMG Project 1 that was unveiled earlier this year at the 2017 Frankfurt Motor Show is, in essence, a Formula 1 car modified for the road. The next generation hypercar is due in 2019 with a price tag of around 2 m pounds sterling. The Project 1 internals are amazingly similar to those of Lewis Hamilton's weekend wheels. The same cannot be said for exterior though, which follows contemporary hypercar styling trends. That said, the design has been heavily influenced by the powertrain requirement for vast volumes of oxygen for cooling and combustion. The roof intake channeling air straight to the engine has been lifted from the F1 car, while further intakes found either side of the front apron also supply air to the high-tech power unit. Maximizing aero efficiency, three mechanized slats sit flush with the front wings and open up to pull air out of the front arches to relieve the pressure. It a similar system to that found on a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Out at the back, the diffuser extremities wrap around the main body on either side of the car, while the rest of the rear remains largely open to dissipate as much heat as possible. The active rear wing extends out as well as up to achieve a greater surface area and thus, more downforce. What marks out the Project 1 from hypercars before it is the drive a train. Be in no doubt that the Ormula 1 car for the road tagline IS and just marketing guff. It a fact. One Mercedes has been keen to emphasize in the build up to the car arrival. After of the passenger cell UL find the EQ Power Plus powertrain that has propelled Mercedes to four consecutive constructors and drivers championships. Speaking about this application of the Formula One powertrain, Mercedes AMG CEO, Tobias Moore said, "We are the first to make Formula One technology roadworthy. As you might expect, all-wheel drive plays a part, delivered and intelligently vectored by an electric motor in each front wheel. But let's start with the game changer at the back. As with the current Mercedes F1 car, the rear wheels are driven by a turbocharged 1.6-liter petrol V6 with direct injection and, for the sake of longevity, an 11,000 RPMs red line, deal down from the 13,500 RPMs Lewis has to play with but still vaguely nuts compared with anything even the driver of the most hyperactive hypercar is used to.